when you literally can fix this on the job in like 15 minutes. Now if I wasn't smart and I didn't have this ordered and sitting on standby, then guess what? Oh, you'd be screwed, dude. I'd be, You're I'd not be down. Using that today. And I couldn't do my flat work. And so then, you had to have an extra bearing. That could keep you from getting your check because guess what? Then you gotta, if you're out in rural US and you're not fortunate and don't have a store by you or anything like that, then you're oh, you down just didn't until prep. it comes into the mail. Right. So, seriously, like, go ahead, spend the extra money, get it on your truck. Well, what'd you tell them about the, the maples? Oh, I told them that these are like the first things that, you know, die. Uh, when you get an old toe come out here and spray for you because they'll bring a root pump. You and, mean a fertilizer uh, spray pump? Little root pump little roots. You mean a fertilizer pump? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy. Today we're cleaning this super nasty uh, stucco drive it slash uh, either of those. I think it's drive it. Uh, church here in Nashville, Tennessee. My buddies Ben Wilson and Abel, two inner circle killers. Uh, we landed this job off of Google My Business. They had called us last year. Uh, to get a bid and we bid it they didn't end up going they didn't end up doing it at all and then they called us again this year and they ended up doing it then lasso down the job and here we are now this is a big payday right but it's only a big gonna be a big tip payday for you is if you have the right equipment some of these peaks on this church are in upwards of probably 60 60 plus feet 70 feet maybe um, I don't have a laser on me but we know that some of them you're gonna need a lift, even with the 10 gallon a minute pressure washer with uh, a tall reach tip, okay? So, I'm gonna start this video. We're gonna go in, kinda take a look at what we're cleaning, how nasty it is, kinda show you some of the pitfalls, some of the things you need to know. Before we jump into that, if you're looking to learn how to clean places like this, right? Where it's a unique substrate, you need to know the ratios, the chemicals, the mixing, um, how, how much pressure you can put on it, how much is gonna damage it. All of that stuff is in the How to Wash course. Mike Vidan, Justin Rogers, Cody Yarbrough, and myself all teamed up. The core four, we got together, built this awesome course for you guys who are wanting to learn how to wash. It's gonna show you everything you need to know from start to finish, all the different substrates, all the stuff, all the technical knowledge about how to wash. Go ahead and click the first link in the description, first link in the comments. I'll see you on the inside. Let's jump into it. All right, so the biggest thing you need to understand when it comes to these types of properties is landscape mitigation. It's because you've got these, I think these are like, Ben, are these like hydrangeas or something? Something like that. Something really like absorbent. Um, they can be killed really easily with a, you know, a hot. Yeah, we're going to put a little plant protect from uh, Southeast Soft Wash. A good chemical to kind of go on after you use your bleach it'll uh, neutralize that bleach and it'll help it uh, stay stay neutral to where it doesn't kill these plants okay so you want to make sure that you soak all these down because this is a uh, stucco drive it what you're going to need is a hot mix nothing else is going to get it you can't downstream these because it's super bad so you're going to have to use your soft washing equipment you're going to have to really put on a hot mix and with that plant and landscape could be a collateral damage okay so the first thing was property and plant protection the second thing you really need to focus on I think and I see this all the time is making sure you have the right equipment for the job and if you don't what do you do next I see it all the time sometimes in the inner circle where a new guy will get this random one-off giant job I don't know how he gets it how he lands the lead but we know because he has like a little four gallon He's not gonna be able to clean the marina, okay? He doesn't have the equipment. So what you would do in that situation is you would reach out locally to a guy in the inner circle or you know, hopefully you have somebody there in your area that you trust. You plug him in, he hopefully has the right equipment and you guys tag team the job and you either split the pay or you do some type of arrangement because you don't have the right equipment. Don't just quit on the lead because you don't have the right equipment. But also, I think a lot of times, new guys don't know they don't have the, the, the right equipment to do it. They don't know what they don't know, and they think they're going to be able to take on something like this 
with a four gallon downstreamer. You're just not. This is gonna require a soft washer. This is gonna require pro level equipment to accomplish this job. Now, this is a $10,000 job. They'll probably do it in maybe two days, right? Two days to get this stucco dialed in. You probably could push it to one day with two guys, but they really wanna make sure that they do a good job and they priced it that way, right? That's another key element of this business is pricing to where you can be profitable and to where you feel good about doing an excellent job. Your business is able to stay open, you're able to stay profitable, and you're not resentful at the end of the day. So make sure you have the right equipment that you can actually do this. If not, team up with somebody who does. All right, so another thing you really need to take into account uh, when you're doing properties like this is that some of the concrete is going to get treated uh, as a result of cleaning the stucco. Obviously, it's gonna run down, it's gonna hit the concrete, we're using a hotter mix. So that means that some of that concrete's going to look much better, it's gonna get streaked up. Make sure you cover that with the client prior to getting the job, because uh, if they didn't know that, the concrete's gonna look all streaked up, they're gonna think that you were supposed to clean that when that wasn't even in the bit. So you just kinda wanna get everybody on the same page. I like to be clear about every single detail, what will and what will not be cleaned. If you like this little pro tip, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, give this button a like, and subscribe for me right now. Okay, so the third and final thing you need to know if you're going to take on a job of this magnitude, you know, if you got the right equipment, you know how to protect the property, the third thing is do you know your numbers? Do you know what it needs to be for your business to be profitable at the end of the day? It doesn't really matter. You can't do the job if you don't have the right equipment. If you don't have the marketing, you would have never gotten the job. But do you know how to make this job profitable for you, right? Are you, you know, strapping yourself up to all of these angles up on top of this building trying to get all of these high peaks well that probably means you don't have the equipment or you don't know how to get a lift or rent a lift and look if you're in a lift that's another cost if you didn't cover that with a client you're gonna be paying that okay so there's a lot of different angles that go into doing jobs of this magnitude if you keep going you'll definitely figure it out at the end of the day look but if you want to exponentiate that and you want to be around guys like Ben Guys like Alex Hammond, guys like Chris Jimenez, dude, I can go down the line. Jonathan Pappenmeyer, Chris Riley, Abel over here, what's up, no, what up, bud? <laughs> if you wanna be around those guys, join the inner circle. It is probably the most concentrated group of young pressure washing killers in the game right now. Everybody helps everybody. Look, do not bring a victim mentality to the inner circle. You will be ousted. We are all hard workers. We all go out and get the bag. We want to help each other, but we only want some serious guys who are in the business long term, really wanting to make multiple six figures, like a lot of these guys who are currently in there now. So I'll see you guys on the inside. And that's the end of this video. Whopper.